active ventilator. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna set our patient up. We actually have a patient on the test one here, but in reality, we're going to have them on a mask, a non-vented mask. You see, we've had the blue elbow, so that there's no holes in the mask. The exhalation is going to be in the circuit. Uh, let's go to modes, and we're going to look for non-invasive. We're gonna to go to NIVST, we're gonna hit that. And that's gonna give us ability to set an IPAP and an EPAP using V60 terminology and give us a backup rate. So we're gonna confirm that. Here's our opening screen. And we're gonna, first thing we're gonna, we're gonna dial down the trigger to two, just so the patient doesn't have to work too hard to get this breath. And you'll see that we have a P inspiratory and a P. And this is going to represent the IPAP and the EPAP and the V60. And this is, this is very important. We're gonna set this differently than we're gonna set a V60. On a V60, we're going to set, if we wanted to do 10 over five, we would just set 10 over five. But this is, a, this is an additive, so you'll have to subtract the peak. So we're actually setting the pressure support. So if you were gonna set 10 over five, you would do five over five, okay? Uh, very important. So five over five would be a 10 over five. Let's go ahead and not use, we're just not gonna use that oxygen for this patient. I'm gonna go ahead and confirm and start ventilation. And we have our patient on the bypass, okay? Very important to know though, this is not a made for BiPAP, it's, it's a ventilator, so it's gonna deliver breaths like a ventilator. So there's a couple tweaks that we have to do to make it more comfortable. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to controls and you'll see this button more. We hit more and you'll have these three settings. And these are the settings we're going to adjust to make it more comfortable. The first one is the P ramp. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna dial it down to the lowest setting, which is zero. And what this does, is it make sure the patient um, has the shortest time to reach the targeted volume, okay? Uh, so they're not gonna have to work through it. They're gonna get this, they're gonna make, they're gonna trigger a breath and they're gonna get the tidal volume, okay? The next one we're going to adjust is the TI max, the inspiratory uh, max uh, setting, and we're gonna make this the longest time, okay? This is gonna ensure that the patient has enough time to inhale, get the volume, without the ventilator terminating the breath. The next thing we're going to set is the expiratory trigger sensitivity. And we're gonna take it from the default 35%, and we're gonna make it a little bit higher. We're gonna to go to 40%. And what that does, it, this will make sure that we cycle the breath from inhalation to exhalation at a higher percentage of the peak inspiratory flow. And this is gonna help with, uh, if there's a leak, it's gonna be kind of like a leak compensation and it's gonna ensure that our patient is a little bit more comfortable and it's gonna deliver those set title volume or those vol volumes that we give them. And if there's a leak, it'll help compensate for it. It'll be a little bit more comfortable, a little less beeping too. And we're gonna get better patient compliance hopefully with this.